Sorry about the long break in videos, but I had a little accident about four weeks ago. I uh, took a pretty nasty spill and broke my ribs. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you have done that before, but it is extremely painful. Missed, missed work and forget about putting a backpack on and getting out here in the woods. So I'm finally starting to come into it a little bit. So my apologies again. I'm sorry. I haven't been making videos, but... Uh, feel good enough today I figured I'd come out and make some lunch out in the woods I have a couple items I want to uh, try out uh, brought them in here in my haversack pretty lightweight kit today like I said I'm just having lunch but uh, yeah this uh, this fall I'm planning on a canoe trip uh, eight day ten day canoe trip up in Algonquin with some of my buddies and uh, I don't know if many of you have been to Algonquin up in Canada but maybe some of you have but there's a lot of portaging especially the route that we're going to be taking so i've been trying to cut down my weight on my pack so i have a couple new items i want to try today uh and i'll show you what they are stay with me so the first item that i have is right here on the top it's not my gps it is hard to do this one-handed sorry It is the 
DD ultralight or super light tarp. So it is a uh, nine by nine. So I'm pretty excited about that. The thing is really small. I mean, you can see the size of my boat. It's like about the size of a Nalgene bottle. And uh, yeah, super light. So as it says, super light. So haven't set this thing up yet. Uh, I'm gonna check it out right now. So, there you have it, DD Super Light. Doesn't help when these guys are pulling your stakes out because they like sticks. <laughs> yeah, it was funny, when I took it out of the package, it was almost stuck together. Like the waterproofing was, I don't know, adhered to itself. So I had to, I was old nervous tearing it apart. I didn't want to rip it because it, it is a very lightweight fabric, but it seems fine. Um, one thing I do really like about it, all the, all the joints, Everything's all reinforced. I really like that. Even has a little, no, I guess that isn't a little pocket, but yeah, all the seams are taped. Taped like really, really well. So and they have an extra piece of fabric in there, even in the center, as you can see, just to help reinforce these loops. I like that they have some nice, big center tie outs. I mean, like huge. So, and they've got those going all the way up the middle. So, I like it. All right, so uh, yeah, I have one other thing I gotta show you guys. There, so now I've got three sticks cut, all of about equal length and about the length of my arm. So once you have that done, what I did is I went to my local gear store and I bought one of these cheap little tripod seats, you know, like at Sierra Trading Post or, you know, wherever you have some old gear store around the house but basically what I did was I uh, got rid of the aluminum legs just kind of sabotage the thing but I kept the seat itself it's got these cool little pockets right here they're actually have some double fabric in there which will help you know from this breaking through and uh, the thing only weighs ounces so this will hopefully be my chair in Algonquin because it's super light I mean it Holds up so small, I can just shove it in my pocket. And then what I did was I went, whoops, I went down to the hardware store 
and bought this little three inch metal ring because I figured I'm not going to want to sit there and have to lash these together every single trip. I want this to be fairly quick. And uh, I'll show you how that works in just a second. And it also will fit right inside one of these pockets. So when I stow it away, it all stays together. Nice little tiny package. So what you do, it's pretty obvious probably at this point, but take those three sticks that you just cut, take your metal ring, slide it over the top of these three sticks, slide it down about a third the way, and then just, it's a little bit fiddly, but boom, now you got a tripod. It'll automatically just stay there just the way it is. Kind of adjust it the way you want it, get it about where you think these things are gonna be. And then yeah, just simply attach your seat. Pretty straightforward, pretty light option. You know, I like to sit down when I'm at camp, especially now that I've got older, I kind of need a chair, but I wanted to save as much weight as I could. So yeah, so there you go. Might have to work it in a little bit into the ground, but there, now I have my chair. So what do you think? Yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> so there you go, guys. It's a quick little way to make a super ultralight pack chair. You don't have to lash sticks together. None of that fooling around. And it's super ultra lightweight. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to make some lunch. You guys want some lunch? Sound good? Yeah. Maybe some potatoes, some bacon, something like that. Everybody likes bacon, right? So yeah, let's have some lunch. windy day today glad I have the tarp up at least if anything for a windbreak they were talking about maybe some showers this afternoon so I brought it just in case but anyway today for lunch pretty simple potatoes bacon and the exciting thing for me is I found one of these little cold handled fry pans at a antique store it's like perfect size fits in my haversack so yeah let's get it on the fire. So, first, a little bit of oil. Plenty of oil. And then, throw the potatoes in there. Everything tastes better with bacon, right? Those are browned up pretty nicely. Bacon in there is crisped up pretty nice. And one thing that can improve on this, a little bit of cheese. There. Let that melt in and be time for lunch. Can't forget some hot sauce. This little pan, well, like I said, I found an antique store. It was tucked away in the back <clears throat> on a nail. I got the thing home. I looked it up. This is patent back me, November 76. That 76 isn't 1976, it's 1876. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, it's just a little, little six inch 
fry pan. I love it because it fits in my haversack perfectly. So I like using all this old antique stuff whenever I can. Mmm. So I'm going to sit here and stuff my face, visit with my buddies, maybe have another little treat. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. So I'm not going to bore you with having you watch me tear all this setup down. But uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your views and your comments. I try to read every single one of them. And I'm still small enough that I try my best to get back to every single one of you. So, like I said, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit subscribe, like, the little bell. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one soon. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Mm.